low green. Come out about six inches on the left. Where that little sort of... Where that little thing is, yeah. Keep it well out there. This would be a legendary, legendary three from Mick. Up and down from, from 70 yards right here on 16. What a three! Oh, pressure, pressure now. Pressure. Oh my gosh, so that Come makes on. this one a little more oh, interesting. Huge. This could be the start of the comeback. All right, what are we playing for? Guinness a hole. <laughs> like that, okay. We are an island though. That's right. Of All righty, eh? Celebrating Mick Fanning. And Fanning now will be wearing the gold jersey heading into Margaret River. I'm Mick Fanning, professional surfer. Uh, very amateur golfer. I wouldn't stand there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put too much pressure on him. <laughs> My name is DJ Pajowski. I work for No Laying Up, which is a, uh, I guess, a golf media company. A little bit of podcasts, some travel, uh, kind of anything and everything to do with the game of golf. What's your history in Ireland, Mick? How, how many so, times have you been here? Uh, this is my fourth, I think. No golf? Never played golf. This here. is your first golf in first Ireland? First golf the in pitch and play? Yeah. Keeping it low. Yeah. I love that. That's totally the play. My dad was born here. Uh, migrated to Australia when he was a teenager, have that Irish heritage and you know, come back and feel like it's, it's almost like a part of home. Oh, so good. Getting the Look shot at back. That. I've always known Ireland as a golf spot, top of mind. How does the surf compare? That is not what's top of mind for me. Nah, yeah, there's, there's plenty of really good waves. You're fighting the elements. Like, <laughs> when you feel how cold it is here, it's, just as cold out there, but then you got the wet wind. And what makes it worth it? Why, why, what's the, what's the draw? Can she stay home? Yeah, you can definitely <laughs> stay home, but I don't know. It's like you're playing the same course all the time. Yeah. You want to play something new, right? Right. Have you ever had a caddy before? Never. <laughs> uh, well, you're going to get very spoiled this okay. week because you've got about like the, the best in the game, I would say. A lot of these guys have like, just been caddying since they've seven, nine years old at the same golf course. They just They're... know everything. Well, that could be everything for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Guinness doesn't really oil the joints. Oh, that's, that's what ages the joints. <laughs> so drink it off of it. And a few Jimmisons with it. Yeah, oh, that's, that's what we're missing. That's what you're missing. Yeah. 403 yards from here, par four. Pretty straight, pretty straight hole. A little right to left. I'm John Davis, I'm from Innes Diamond, and I'm here 63 years. Approximately what year was that? Ah, oh, I couldn't remember that far back. <laughs> Memory isn't that good. <laughs> we were school kids, and that's, that was the tradition. That was the tradition that was here. You came in the summertime, and you got your money to pay for your books going to school. I started caddying in 1961 here in Lynch. So I'm now 68, and I've done 61 years. You're coachable, Nick. I've been caddying here since I was eight years of age, so my dad still does it here. My brother Caddy is here as well, and my other brother's a greenskeeper. Like a lot of the dads that's caddying here, they're told in four generations. You know, I caddy with their fathers, and they caddy with their grandfathers. You know, we all get on well together. Good, there'd be banter like every place else, but we are a family, like we look after one another, you know? Disgrace your profession, pull in a fucking bag. You're in disgrace your profession. <laughs> Not just the job, but you get out there, you meet people, you have a bit of crack with the caddies, and, and it's exercise, it keeps you, keeps you fit, and you get dry, you can have a few pints after, you know?
Lahinch is wild. The first time I was here, I was out there walking alone and I was so lost. Every time you play that course, it's totally different. Totally different. It's the wind, the wind that makes the course. Because of the wind, I want you to hit 110. Okay. Wedge, it will draw, so don't worry about it. The wind will knock it back. And the course is pure natural. It's so not man-made, right? Somebody stumbled upon these dunes and found a bunch of golf holes. And it wasn't just somebody, it was old Tom Morris, who is kind of the godfather of all things golf. And then not only was it old Tom Morris, it was Alistair McKenzie who designed Augusta National and Cypress Point and Pasa Tiempo and all these amazing places. And those two like working together on what is one of the most outrageous pieces of land for golf has created this thing that is just unlike really a lot of other places in the world. I mean, it's pretty rare. But to shoot under par at Le Hinch, you can call yourself a golfer. You're hitting over dunes, you're hitting blind shots into hollows, crisscrossing holes. I mean, it's, it's kind of chaos. Beautiful, beautiful course, but you can get in trouble really easily. Oh, no, get up. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I hate monkeys. You know, I think it's, it's key having the, the boys caddy for you. There, there's the tee box there. The driving area is right here. Second shot, all you see is the white stone and the hill in front of you. The first nine, you have seven blind holes in it, which makes it a little bit tough, but once you have a caddy with you, you shouldn't go wrong. A blind shot is where you can't see the pin off the tee. So you have to just trust your caddy and the line he gives you. I think that's, that's the beauty and the attraction for people to come and play this. Like, how many shots that you, you're just teeing off and you don't know where the actual hole is. Yeah, this is one of the most famous par trees in golf now, Mick. Yeah. See the white stone on the hill? Yeah. That's where the flag is today. Okay. It's almost like a giant pitch and putt. Come on. Trip. Oh, <laughs> so good. How fun is that, right? It's not good. <laughs> it's like having a teammate out there yeah. is just the best. The other great thing about the caddies is they're, they kind of can pick up very quickly what you're there to accomplish. Right. Yeah, and they okay. have to go with it because our opponent is, yeah. is ahead of us. Winners take chances. Oh, you have it. My obvious is to show you around, to entertain you. Uh, maybe a bit of counseling thrown in as well. As I say, Mick, the shy boy never got any sweets. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> Do you need, you know, somebody to commiserate with you? Do you need somebody to blame? Do you need somebody to help you? Do you, do you need swing tips? Easy does it, eye on the ball. Head down, stay with it. Head down on the ball. Head down. Head down. <laughs> <laughs> they know this place as well as humanly possible. They know every inch, they barely have to step off yardages. They barely have to look at putts. They've just seen anything and everything that the ball can do out there. Sit. Why? Why do you want it to sit? Sit. I was saying go and you were saying sit. We, we confused the ball. You'd want an extra layer of skin on when you come here. Pulled it. Let me check that putter hit, let's see yeah. if it's straight. <laughs> it's really cool. It's cool being out here with somebody who's kind of just starting the, the golf journey a little bit. Good shot, Mick. Oh, it's a super shot. What a shot. Oh my God. <laughs> That would be a good example of, of someone who just like knows how to win something. Are you familiar with his background at all? No. No? World champion. World champion. Yeah. One? Three. Three. Oh, three. That's right. I tried it one time. I, I, I got the legs off the, the iron board. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't work. Probably a bit small, that one, for you. <laughs> the Hinch is the golf course. But that, that was always the way. It was, any place you went, any business you went into in the Hinch, you would meet someone that could talk about golf to you. Now we have the surfing. Surfing has really taken over over the last 10 to 15 years. The winter time here, I know this, this place will be full of young surfers learning to, learning to surf, school kids. It's marvellous to see it. Marvellous to see it. I asked them, like, do you guys play golf? And they're like, no, I don't have time. I'm either surfing or skating. So, uh, you know, that, that's pretty cool.
Mick paddles out yesterday and there's three kids sitting in the water and all of a sudden Tiger Woods has, has just joined you on the first tee. And I mean, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen in other sports. Yeah, to see 12 year old kids with really good technique and, and surfing really well, it's uplifting to see that the Irish have really taken on surfing. When I came here a few years ago, I didn't even know about the, the golf course. I wasn't in the golf scene whatsoever. Great two putt there, Mick. Thanks, man. Is that a five? A power, yeah. Ooh. That one up? That's one up. Par in the Klondike, you take that one on the airplane home with you. Yeah. That's, that's it. Well, that's the good thing about beginning. You always get better, <laughs> hopefully. Wow, that was clutch. <laughs> Those are two pretty serious threes there. Hanging with DJ has been fun, especially on the golf side of things. He's, he's really knowledgeable. This is my favorite, like with the town being like it's built so cool. all around the golf course. It's like the centerpiece of everything. It's so cool. In the same sentence, he's really intrigued in surfing and how it sort of overlaps into golf. Golf and surf are very similar in that regard in that, you know, you don't hop on an airplane and travel 11 hours and rent a car and go through all these sketchy roads to go see a tennis court. Part of the, the deal is the journey and actually the idea of going and playing somewhere else and going and seeing somewhere else. Beauty, man. Best of the day. Clint Hinch has been around for you know, over 100 years. There it is. That's one. <laughs> to preserve that is, is pretty amazing. Huey, what, what, what's your impression so far? Uh, it's a tough day. <laughs> <laughs>